mahi are an interesting uh, model species to work with, not only for their use in environmental toxicology issues, but as well as for sustainable seafood production. Because of their rapid growth and their efficient conversion of feed products into edible biomass. These are being cultured here as part of the uh, Recover Consortium work that's funded by the Gulf of Mexico Research Initiative, or GOMRI. And that's focused on looking at the impacts of the Deepwater Horizon oil spill and the recovery potential for these species following that oil spill event back in 2010. The mahi fishery worldwide is fairly robust. Uh, in other words, they're not threatened in any means. There are some sustainable methods to capture mahi hook and line. There are also unsustainable methods. But what we see is with the growth in seafood consumption and the growth in human populations throughout the world, the fishery will not be able to support all these mouths that would like to have seafood. And these are about 90 to 100 days old here in this tank. Because of their rapid growth, you can have multiple growth cycles per year. So unlike some of the slower growing species that you see used in plate-sized preparations from a farm product, such as a Mediterranean sea bass, that takes 18 to 24 months to reach that size. Mahi, you get that plate size in three to four months. So mahi are one of the most challenging species, marine finfish species, to raise in captivity. Uh, they're very cannibalistic at multiple life stages. It's really survival of the fittest. So the same thing that happens in the wild happens here in a tank-based setting where the strongest survive. So we introduce a directional current which helps remove waste from the tank. It also keeps them busy swimming. And if they're busy swimming, they're not as busy eating each other. The methods and techniques to take it to a commercial scale are still in development. So we're trying to answer some of those questions and address some of those challenges that remain. And that's what we're focused on here at the University of Miami Experimental Hatchery.